Hey gardeners, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Trisha and in today's video I'm going to be upgrading Chaos, my ball python, into a Zen Habitat enclosure. I have been dying to do this for so long now because Chaos has been in a 75 gallon which is definitely adequate in the space department for a ball python but the tank that I had him in was just so annoying because I made a lid on the top of it. It had like two sections that needed a lid and the only way that I could basically keep it down and make sure it was secure for him was by stacking a ton of books on top of the entire perimeter of every single screen lid that I made. So literally the whole tank was just covered in books and like I don't know if you guys have seen that in the past but I just I hated how that looked and it was so annoying because every time I need to get into the enclosure I have to take all of those books down and then take the lid off and then try and get him out and it's just it's not a good time. It's way too much work and I just I'm sick of it so I really wanted to get him into a zen habitat enclosure so I finally got it and I was able to set him up and he is loving it and so am I. I wanted to try something different with this background. What I normally do is the spray foam and then I use silicone and substrate but I'm really sick of using silicone these days. It's just so much work for me and I wanted to try something different so I tried dry lock this time and I just got to paint the background instead. And I really like how it turned out, although I kind of didn't like the gray color. I was going to add some cement dye, but Home Depot didn't have any, so I just was stuck with gray. But I ended up liking how it turned out. I drizzled some substrate on it to make it look a little bit more naturalistic and add some more texture. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I did everything. And Chaos has just been so active and checking everything out. And it just makes me so happy to see him utilize it. And now I can just get in and out of his enclosure so easily and just open the door. And that is literally the best gift in life right now. It's just, it's the simple little things. And that is one of the little things that just like improved my life so much. And I love how this setup looks. So before I do get to showing you guys how I set up everything, I do want to mention that everything in this enclosure is from joshesfrogs.com. Um, the only thing that isn't from joshesfrogs.com are the fake plants. I got them from Michael's. So I found some nice plastic plants that I just added as like an extra touch and I love how they turned out. All the live plants, the subs, straight literally everything that I use for the background except the dry lock came from Josh's frogs so if you guys want to go ahead and check them out please do they are the best you can get all the stuff that you need for your enclosures feeders for your animals as well or even some geckos or frogs because they produce high quality captive bred animals as well and if you have not shopped at Josh's frogs before you can go ahead and use my coupon code at the checkout it is reptilian garden you just type it in at the discount code section and you will save 15% off of your order. You do need to have an account and be logged in and you cannot use it more than one time. So if you've used it in the past, it will not work again. So please go ahead and use that wisely and save some money at Josh's Frogs. And please check out Zen Habitats because that is where the enclosure came from. I'm wearing their shirt today. I love Zen Habitats. So please go ahead and check them out as well. You can follow them on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. <laughs> and if you do choose to shop from them, I would really appreciate it if you use my link in the description. It is my affiliate link. So feel free to use that when you shop at Zen Habitats. I would really appreciate it. And please feel free to send me your enclosure as well because I would love to see it. So with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and get to showing you how I set up this enclosure. I hope that you guys like it and leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. And I'm going to get into it now. How do I feel about being uh, a member of the Information Society? That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. Thank you. 
member of the Information Society? That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. Oh my god, I'm like obsessed with this. So I'm about to go get chaos and put him in his new enclosure. I just completely emptied out his old enclosure. I hated this thing. It was so boring. And now I'm about to move him to his new home and we'll see how he likes it. All right, chaos. So he is going straight into his warm hide. So right now I have a heat lamp on, but I'm not gonna be using that. I have a heat pad at the bottom. So I just have to plug it in. I just wanted to use this because it's super cloudy today. So it's really hard to like see inside the enclosure and I wanted you guys to be able to see everything. So what we have going on here. So this is his warm hide right here. It's this big moss hide that I got from Josh's Frogs and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I think it looks so cool. I really wanted this enclosure to be like green and mossy, so it really turned out great. Um, the fake plants that I put in the back are all from Michael's, um, and then this one as well. And then there's like a little, that fern one in the corner. And then there are just some other fake um, normal reptile plants that you see like that one going across the piece of driftwood. He's just checking everything out. And then, um, so I have a big piece of cork bark going across here. He has some type of wood over here. I'm not sure what it's called. And then more fake plants. We have a live plant right here. One over here. I think that's a bird's nest fern. And then there's another live plant over there. His cool hide is in this corner and it's kind of like this little cave over here. I really like how it turned out. Of course, it's hard to film though. So I'm sorry, it's hard to get these angles. Um, I really like how the background turned out as well. So yeah, let's just go ahead and see how he does in here. And then of course I topped everything off with some leaf litter because that is like my favorite form of enrichment, my final touch. Also, he has a water bowl over here for, just cause I didn't mention that. I wanna make sure that he has his water. So yeah, I'm really digging how this turned out. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see him utilize all of this. I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys a view over here. This part is probably like my favorite. I think that just looks so cool. I really am happy with this piece of driftwood that I decided to put in and now it's like a little cave in the corner and it's just like very secretive. There's plants coming out everywhere. And then I just, I'm super, super excited about this build. So happy. Hopefully chaos will like it too. <laughs> 